All right, Dana, check out the forecast. Good news for you is it is kind of calm these next few days. Bad news yeah. for us is it's freezing cold <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a give and take. I'm not a huge fan of the cold either. I need my hat and gloves today and I did not have them. Unfortunately, or fortunately rather, I will pack them for the rest of the week because the weather is not going to be doing much changes. And in fact, it's only going to get colder. So if you haven't put the hat and gloves in your purse yet, today is the day to do so. Current temperatures out there though, already very chilly overnight tonight, kind of in the mid to upper teens, and I expect single digits dropping down within the next couple of hours. So it is going to be a rather cold stretch overnight tonight and something that we're not really going to break until we get into the beginning of next week. But the good news today was is that we did have plenty of sunshine out there today, so that's some more positive news. We had some more cloud cover move through in the late evening hours, but overall for most of us, it was pretty sunny throughout the entirety of the day, which does make it feel a little bit warmer out there. Now the hour by hour forecast over the next couple of days is going to look pretty similar. The mountains are going to be able to hold on to their cloud cover a little bit more than if you're closer to the coast and the temperatures on the map are going to be very, very low as we go over the next couple of days. So we'll start out tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine for most of us out there, but we will build in some cloud cover later in the day. I would say mostly cloudy skies throughout most of the day, getting into the mid to upper 20s by the late afternoon. By the time we get to overnight temperatures, though, that's when it's going to be really cold. So this is Friday at 7 a.m. We've got negative numbers all the way down to Waterville elsewhere in the single digits. So it's going to be very, very cold. So make sure you bundle up if you're going to be out early in the morning on Friday. And then we're really not going to bounce back very far. We will have some more sunshine, especially in northern parts of Maine on Friday. We do have a system that's passing to our south. You can kind of see that here right at the bottom of the map where we have just a couple of snow showers popping up. But this system is going to stay safely to our south, so we're not going to have any precipitation to contend with on Friday, but we will have some extra cloud cover, especially along the coast. And temperatures are only going to get into the upper teens, maybe some low 20s in the southern coast. So very, very cold over the next couple of days. Saturday morning once again, Negative numbers to start out. This is 4 a.m. So not a lot of people are going to be out, but if you are out, be sure you bundle up for very much in the early morning hours. Saturday is going to be the cloudiest day of the bunch, and then we'll start to break into some more sunshine a little bit later in the week. So Thursday is going to be the breeziest day of the bunch. We'll stay a little bit windy as we get into the end of the week and into the weekend as well. But Thursday will be the windiest with wind gusts about 20 to 25 miles per hour. And then we'll kind of calm down as we get into the overnight hours. So because we have really cold temperatures out there and the wind on Thursday and a little bit of wind throughout the rest of the week as well, I do want to talk quickly about wind chill temperatures, especially up in northern Maine. Wind chill obviously taking into effect the temperature outside and the wind bringing our temperatures or feels like temperatures outside into the negative 20s in some areas in northern Maine, otherwise negative numbers and single digits. So it's going to feel very, very cold over the next couple of days. And that really isn't going to improve a whole lot until our base temperatures start to get a little bit warmer as we get into the second half of the weekend. So I'm going to keep saying it, just keep bundling up over the next couple of days. We will start to get out of this pattern as we get later into the week, though. So over the weekend, high temperatures only in the teens, but we'll start to get back into the 30s as we get into the beginning of next week. So for our marine forecast, seas three to seven feet. We've got that small craft advisory up because we've got some gusty winds out over the water. Then for our seven day forecast, thankfully it's going to be pretty quiet over the next couple of days. Saturday is definitely going to be both the coldest and the cloudiest day of this stretch but really you're just gonna to wanna to bundle up over the next couple of days. Next chance of precipitation doesn't look to be until the middle of next week. So Zach, we're pretty thankful for some quiet weather, both for all of us in Maine and in the weather department, but hat, gloves, scarf, I'm taking them all out of the closet. Everything you need. All right, Dana, <laughs> thanks so much.